Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dark and Dicey, the D and D streaming show with shady guys and ladies. <laughs> um, second session. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, so excited. <laughs> All right. Let's let's start things off. Uh, as you remember last time, we have our same cast of characters. We got Zach as the uh, Deep Gnome Ranger Werblund. Oi. That's right. And we got Christina as the Yuanti Pure Blood Warlock. Anya, yes. The keyword. <laughs> Nate is, of course, the Kenku Druid Pluck. <laughs> Hunter being the uh, half elven paladin Kovac. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and Anna, the adorable tiny halfling uh, barbarian uh, Trixa. Hello. Yes. Um, before we get started, guys, is there any new stuff you guys want to plug on any of your social medias or what you have coming up that's exciting and we can sort of join in and celebrate with you? It's exciting. You wanna, we want to do a round? Yeah, I'll start. Um, I just dropped my second single. The album is almost done. We'll be dropping that this summer and announcing a bunch of live show dates. And I've got two shows in L.A. specifically that um, are really big that I'm going to announce here in the next few days. So stay tuned. Anyone else? I mean, you know, what do you got? I got a lot of stuff <laughs> that I can't talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, in that case, if anyone else wants to jump in real quick and plug their thing, go ahead. But I'm going to start filling them in on what happened last time. So mm. if you think of something, just jump in. But last time, uh, if you did not join us, um, our heroes uh, were introduced to a a guard captain by the name of Lord Fizzlepot. Um, Lord Fizzlepot is uh, in charge of a very shady, very, uh, really evil-ish drug cartel ring uh, in, in Allhaven. Um, and uh, he has mistaken our, our quote-unquote heroes for the uh, drug smugglers who were supposed to bring his package to the Black Steel Isles, which you sort of did. <laughs> in our own special way. Yeah, in your own special way you did. Uh, so after encountering uh, this less than pleasant man, um, uh, Katri gathered them all up to uh, come up with a plan to more or less rob his house. Uh, they are they are in fact after the guard bracelet, which allows them to cast magic on the Black Steel Isles without summoning the adamantite golems, aka the Insta Death. Um, they have access to one, and they're trying to get another. All guard captains have one, and that is why currently they are in his house. Um, it just so happened to be the Lunar Festival of Plenty that night. So, uh, with the help of their new friends Shady Jeff and Walter, they have been snuck into Allhaven to ransack this dude's house. And uh, that is, and, and if, if you were here last time, you'll remember that uh, things were going swimmingly. Um, uh, COVID. <laughs> uh huh. Kovacs had sort of not really convinced the guards inside the house that he owned the house. Um, Anna has, uh, uh, Trixa has, uh, Trixa. yes, Trixa has uh, waylaid the larger boss guard uh, into thinking that a small child was sick and he had to rescue her. Um, so he's gone. Uh, and as we finished, we left off with Pluck, unfortunately, rolling a uh, natural one as he was trying to stealth down some stairs. And also, uh, Fizzlepot has returned to the home, uh, just a little bit off from you guys. So, and that is where we will uh, take off. Uh, as you remember, you guys are just sort of um, hanging out outside the house, trying to decide what to do. You've heard some uh, 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 cloven steps uh, off in the distance, and you see this grand, portly white horse coming down the way. And on, on the horse's back is Fizzlepot. Um, he's sort of, he's sort of doing one of these. He's kind of like laying into the horse. He, he seems to be slightly inebriated, um, having had a lot of fun. Not at, the only one around here. That's true. It's true. You're at least coming down a little bit. Right? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this, this horse is getting closer to you. And, and as he, as he becomes, uh, as he gets closer and closer, you see that Fizzlepot doesn't really recognize that you're here because he's more or less passed out on the horse. Are I'm there... still in the back of the house with the cellar door, right? Okay, so you don't actually, um... Oh, I thought you had come back around again nope. afterwards. No? Okay, you're still back there. In which case, you don't see this, you do. Alright. So are there any actions you'd like to take as this horse begins to pass you by? Yes, I okay. see this guy, I remember that I hate him, mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to uh, do, a, do a badass power walk towards him as he is approaching me. Alright, you puff your chest out, yeah. you just kind of... 
and uh, when when I when I reach him, I would like to grab him and throw him down off his horse. Okay. Uh, oh! Here's here's what's gonna happen. Since the horse doesn't know you, right, and you you're approaching him um, all like all smug and, and, and angry. Um, go ahead and make a uh, a dex check to see if you can even get to him before the horse possibly freaks out on you. Question. Yes. Are you still drunk? He's 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 tipsy, but he's not uh, drunk enough to uh, gain disadvantage on his rolls anymore. Okay. Which Perfect. Is, I, I just I just wanted to. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a valid question. <laughs> okay. Uh, that would be a 13. All right. Um, so you do, you reach for him. Uh, you're not quite fast enough to grab him, uh, to throw him off the horse, because the horse sees you coming. It, it's it's agitated. It's, it's spent a long night carting this dude around. It's tired. It wants to go home. So it rears up as you reach for him. And it goes, uh, stomps to the ground, kind of shoves you off, and starts off in a uh, half gallop towards the home, <laughs> away from him. So you're like, huh! Dang. <laughs> and he's still on the horse? Uh, the dude's still on the horse, yes. <laughs> he's just kind of flopping like, <laughs> great, great. All right. Um, you guys, uh, as, you're, as you're not quite facing off, but sort of staring awkwardly at these guards, right? you also hear these large gallops coming from outside, getting closer and closer to the house. You also do now, too. A horse is uh, just straight up galloping towards the house. Um, the, uh, the horse stops, and you're the only one who can see this, you guys can sort of see if you look out the window, the horse comes to a screeching halt outside the door, um, Fizzlepot, can he even make this save? I don't think he can, he's unconscious, he's not gonna make the save. Uh, so he is thrown, thrown from the back of this horse, straight through the door, all right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you guys uh, are still there, like you're sweeping up the thing. These guards are in their chairs, frozen, and suddenly, out of nowhere, Fizzlepot comes flying through his door and lands in between the two guards. I'd like to jump down from the stairs and stab Fizzlepot in the neck. <laughs> hey. All right. <laughs> It's a hero campaign. <laughs> so we know we know what's about to happen here, uh, Trixa. Uh, I would like to keep my ears open and try to open the cellar door with my crowbar. Okay, um, go ahead and uh, you. Oh, that's right, you crowbar. Uh, let's do a uh, check for you. Let's do a. Blah, 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 blah. It's not so hard. It's not hard. It is. Let's do a straight strength check with advantage because of your crowbar. 16. 16, nice. All right, yeah. You, um, with little little trouble, you, uh, the uh, wooden beam inside between the two uh, folding doors right open. Um, you're able to have... If access. I hear screaming of any kind, I'm going to leave. You do hear, uh, you do hear some commotion as a body thuds in the main mm -hmm. waiting room. Um, and uh, and I th I'm pretty sure you could hear the crashing bass. Uh, That's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you gain access to the cellar. Um, what do you do now that you see the horses galloped uh, past, uh, not past, but in front of the house, deposited uh, Fizzlepot and has now started wandering off to find his oats to eat? Um, I, I want to, is the horse like running or just kind of like? No. <laughs> now that it's deposited his owner, he just sort of like, I'm going to go get some food. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run towards the horse. All right. Uh, an attempt to... It side-eyes you like, mm, you again. To, to, like, tie him off somewhere. All right, um, roll uh, animal handling, please. All right. That's a first. Damn, six. Uh, you, you reach for him, and he sidesteps you just once. <laughs> Can I try again? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nat 20. That was oh. quite the roll. It went all the way across the table and then it was a 20. So here's what happens. You, you reach for him and you're like, all right, that's probably not going to work. You see his oats, however, right in front of him. So you're like, animals like food. <laughs> you pick up the oats and you start guiding the horse. And he's following you perfectly. So you can now guide this horse wherever you'd like. Let's see. I need to see if I have, like, some, some rope. <laughs> it's... It's entirely possible. I have no prop. Work? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll just okay. put these back in my hand. No prop. I don't think I have a rope. Do I see any anywhere where a horse may be tied up around here? Not uh, in your immediate vicinity, but you haven't checked the back of the house at all. 
Okay. So I'll I'll do a little okay little guided patrol right. around. Um, you 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 do come across Trixa as she has just uh, broken into the cellar door, and you. Why see... do you have a horse? <laughs> I thought it might be useful. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to search this cellar with me? I suppose, but let me tie this horse off first, so we can commandeer it later. Just eating the oats in your in your pail as you're talking to it. The ho- we can bring the horse downstairs. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. The but doors are actually large enough for a horse to fit through if you want it. <laughs> if there's something dangerous <laughs> down there, it'll eat the horse. horse. I think I'd like to save the horse for <laughs> later use for us, perhaps? Is there anywhere I can like, tie her? Sure, yeah. in, ba- in the back, you see, you do see a, a small stable where you can... You can okay, <laughs> well, we'll just tie him off real good. <laughs> All right. Uh, really quickly, let's go back to you guys. Yeah. Um, are you? Are you? So you straight up, you're just attacking these people. I'm just getting low, and like doing a butt wiggle. <laughs> All right. Can I try and like stop her? No. I mean, not she's so- right next to you. So uh, the, <laughs> the guards, as you're as you're wiggling your butt and readying, uh, calibrating to you know stab this man in the neck, uh, the guards are hoisting Fizzlepot off uh, off the floor. It's like, sir. Sir, there's a home invasion, sir! You need to... Sir! Oh, bollocks. He's drunk. All right. I... You! Get him in the water pail! And he's like, all right! So they're like, as, as you're figuring out what to do, they're dunking this dude's face in the water. It's like, be with you in a moment! Like, let, let, let's just leave. Let's just get it. Let's just get out of here. No, there's... I take this house for my own. They, it's <laughs> <laughs> Roll initiative. Okay. <laughs> with the guardsman. Damn it. Do I have any kind of dex? Dex. Oh, I have no modifier. Uh, is it is it just Anya who is just randomly attacking these people? Uh, hell yeah, I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I not rolling? I figured I did. Oh, oh no! If, if if you also want to attack, then yes, absolutely. I, don't I was want just. To I'm, not, I'm just in the middle of this. Right. Do I get a plus three for athletics? Uh, no, you should have a uh, modifier to your initiative. That's yeah, it's, 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 it's at the, the top. top of right. the yeah. Oh, initiative! That's right! Initiative! Oh, I got none. <laughs> <laughs> Plus zero. Yes, but what did you roll? Ten! Ten, okay. <laughs> Seventeen. So happy. Seventeen. Okay, got it. And you're just like, I'm invisible, I'm good. Right? Yeah, because we're still looking for the guard bracelet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want right. to keep searching for it, because I think I'm our last best hope at this point. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Since you guys are separated a little bit, I'm going to do a round of combat with them. Go back to you. Round of combat with them. Go back to you. How's that sound? All right, let's do this. Uh, It is the guard's turn first. Uh, So what happens is uh, there is a door off to the side that leads to a a meeting room, like a boardroom type area. Uh, One of the guards uh, grabs Fizzlepod as, you know, he's been been dunking his head in a pail of water and, and corrals him along with the second guard into that waiting room. All right. Um, you guys will obviously follow, but you hear furniture being overturned. And by the time you get uh, to the doorway to this place, they have set up a large barricade of a very sturdy looking wooden table. Uh, they've shoved Fizzlepot between them. And these two guards have, um, have, ooh, the back. Uh, <laughs> the back. Uh, they have two, uh, they have a pole arm each in their hands, ready at you, um, ready to confront you in this fight. Um, so... That's what they do for their turns. They they set up like this defensive uh, area. Uh, Nate, pluck. It is your turn. Um, so are they like more fixated on me, on Anya, or just kind of both? We go- um, well, they they're not fixated on any one of you. It's just you guys now have to go through this uh, go through this funnel door right to get to them, and they are um, set up in a way where. Once you come in, you're within range of their pole arms. Uh, there's no, like, window? There is, but you have to get inside the room. Oh, like a window to enter this room from the outside? No, a window to get out. Oh, a window to get out? <laughs> yeah. Just of the house? Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's plenty. Cool. Where's the nearest one? <laughs> uh, you see one just down the way a little bit, uh, down the hall. You could take, uh, it only takes you, um half a turn to get there and then you can do an action if you'd like. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna he looks at the window, he's like Lead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You 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 just sort of 
<laughs> wander your way to the window, mm -hmm. open it. Do you just jump out? Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so you guys, you guys, right before you uh, walk into the cellar, you just see this large bird figure go like, nope, <laughs> right next to you, <laughs> landing in gotcha. a heap. And now you're out of combat. Am I? Am I with them? Yes. Now you're so, with them. Hey. Hi. <laughs> we uh, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Fizzlepot? Uh, he's in there. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Oh, is yeah. he awake? Uh, I don't believe so. No, he <clears throat> looked pretty toasty. Could I get to him? I mean, with the right attitude, you might. It's your turn. Yes! <laughs> okay, I do the roll for attack. Okay, are you are you uh, okay? You are you are at this doorway, right? So yes. if you picture, uh, here's the doorway right here. Yes. They're a little further back behind the barricade here, and they are. Once you walk into the room, you will. <laughs> this doesn't count. Once you walk into the room, um, you you notice that they're ready to strike at any second. So do you walk into the range? Yes. Okay. Uh, you're going to get attack of opportunity because both of them oh, have pole bad. arm mastery as a feat. That's so wait, that's bad. Yes. So but, you wait. Where I'm pouncing. You are. You are. You do I'm plan on pouncing, but you have to realize that you have to pounce through this doorway. Right. There's no other way to get at them. They. How close are they to the doors? Uh, a few feet away, but they have very long pole arms, and they can reach you from where they are. I go for it. All right then. <laughs> All right. What's your what's your AC, Christina? It is. What's a, what AC? Your armor oh, class. Oh, the armor class is ten. Ten. Yes. <laughs> oh, first one whizzes right by your face. Yes. You feel real badass. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you get hit by the second one. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh, so you you definitely dodge this side. You're like. <laughs> Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, how cool! Right. Okay. Uh, take uh, seven points of damage Why? as a pole arm buries itself into your arm. But you are now in the room. I like crouch down, but not as low and not as enthusiastic. Right. <laughs> and I'm ready to pounce. I mean, are you ready to pounce, or do you want to make an attack action? Attack action. Okay, okay. Uh, in so... the air, coming down on his neck. <laughs> All right, so you're you're jumping their barricade, yeah. is what you're you're saying. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, which 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 person are you going for, Fizzlepot? Fizzlepot. All right. So it, since you're jumping, I'd like you to make an uh an ac an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Yes. Sure. I have. Okay. Because. Fifteen. Fifteen? All right. Uh, you you leap over the table successfully. You look very, very uh, dope coming <laughs> down on this group. And uh, go ahead and roll attack against Fizzlepot. Please work, please work. Oh, I have a plus five to hit. Okay. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. Um, you uh, managed to land a, a, what do you have right now? Like a- A dagger. Dagger, okay. Uh, shrieking, uh, shrieking mightily, you somehow, uh, you get, you get hit, but you make it through this, this tangle of, of spears and pole arms, and you land on Fizzlepot's very drunk body, and you just go for a stab, a roll for damage. So it's this one, right? Mm -hmm. Four plus three is seven. Seven, okay. So, uh, things are very wild. You are going for the neck, but you don't quite get him there. You do get him in the shoulder, however. You stick your knife real deep in his flesh. Uh, his eyes open. He's like, ah! Ah! Wait. Ah! 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 He has no idea where he is. Flailing around. Fizzlepot, I have my dagger in your neck. All I just want is one thing. It's in my shoulder! In your shoulder, close <laughs> enough. I just want one thing. For this is a very long round that you're taking. You two, for you to give me your house and for you to die. Okay, so you do say all of that. <laughs> you do say all of that, but he is shrieking while you're saying that. He doesn't hear anything you've said. Okay. Uh, mostly due to the stabbing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now back to you guys. All right. Do we hear her shrieking mightily? You hear Fizzlepot Wait, shrieking mightily. Do I yes. get to make a move? Uh, you said you haven't joined the the combat. 
So you're just. Right, but I, I, I still want to investigate around the house. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, roll investigate really quick while <laughs> while this is all happening. I have. <sighs> Six. Too much crap is going on. You can't really concentrate on looking for anything specific. You, you tried to go through a few things, but nothing real interesting. There's a lot of screaming happening. And people are obviously getting stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. All right, are we entering the cellar? I'm not. I don't okay. know. They're, they're screaming now. Maybe we should go back inside. I'll, I wouldn't go in there. What's happening? Uh, things that it might be better if we're not associated with Question. What was... I mean, I would have seen what Fizzlepot was wearing. Was he wearing his armor? No. No, no, no. He's not armored. Did I notice if he was wearing the bracelet? That's a good question. It, it would have been too dark for you to notice. He has gotcha. long sleeves on. You know, it could be anyone. Gotcha. Right. I have a feeling the bracelet is on Fizzlepot. Oh. So I'm going back in, and I'm going to take it. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'll go. Alright. I follow him, I guess, to the front. Yeah, you guys make yeah, your way to the front. Right back Unless back. there's a window on the back side where they are. Um, there is, but you'd have to uh, make a climb check to get to it. Oh, it's up. Yeah. And I'm small. And you're small. You I want to go over there. Okay, so you guys uh, make your way to the front? Or did you want to climb up? I want to climb. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... Since you do have a large paladin with you, uh, you, you don't have to make the, uh, a straight climb check. If Boost you... me up! Might as well. All right. All right. You, you easily boost uh, the tiny halfling up. Um, you, uh, you make it to the window. It is locked from inside, so you will have to make a quick strength check to see if you can just sort of force it open. 17. Yeah, you're just like... <laughs> shatters a thing. Small but mighty. <laughs> um, uh, you... Uh, while you're rummaging through things, you see a, a window next to you just shatter from the outside in. Oi! Yeah, glass falls everywhere. It's 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 it's, it's random. And then you see, of course, uh, Trixa land next to you. Uh, you can't see Wordblun because he's still invisible. But there you are, and you're like, huh, ready for action. What do I see around me? Um, you see not me, <laughs> not Wordblun. <laughs> um, but you see a uh, kind of wrecked interior waiting room because bodies have flown and things have been thrown up. Uh, all over the place. You do see uh, uh, past this door uh, the frenzied mass of bodies and stabbing that is Anya and these two guards in Fizzlepot trying to keep her away from uh, murdering their boss. I'd like to go up to her and just surprise her, whisper in her ear. Don't be an idiot like the rest of them, please. And just wander away. <laughs> that was war blood, right? Not... Okay. <laughs> in your in your head, oh. in your head, it, it's reaffirmed. It's like. Mm. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. So, uh, would you would you like to try to join this combat, or are you just observing for now? I'd like to look around if they haven't noticed me yet. Yeah, they they haven't noticed you. I want to look around for bracelets. All right. Roll for roll. Investigate. Natural one. <laughs> All right. Um. You 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 step on the nail and you hurt your toe. No! It sucks. Roll. <laughs> roll. Roll a wisdom save. Wisdom. Yes. Roll a wisdom save. Four. Four. All right. We'll get back to you in a second. No. Oh, no. Should get tetanus or something? No. No 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 no. Oh, um, he's so lucky. Uh. Okay. It's the guard's turn. Right. Oh no. Yep. You're. Oh. You're. Literally right there. Um, they're going to try to just snuff you out. No! <laughs> yep, it's it's happening. They 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 ready their they ready their pole arms and they just start. Can like, I roll persuasion? It's not your turn. Ah! <laughs> do it. Do it. Um, you said your AC is ten. Yeah. That unfortunately hits you. So one of them's like, ah, ah, no, a boss. That's where our money comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that's not that bad. Take five points of damage. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the second guard's like... <laughs> this, what's wrong? Go ahead, go ahead. Did something happen? No, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the second guard's like, You're right! I love money! And he stabs you. Um, misses that one. So yes. one of them, you, you sidestep. Um, let's see. Uh, Fizzlepot will now officially join the initiative. 
Uh, having rolled very low, I'll put him... He is inebriated. I'm sorry? He is inebriated. He is very inebriated. It's true. Um, no. all right. Uh, it is your turn, Christina. Okay, um, I need a GTFO. <laughs> all right. <laughs> like, okay, okay, you can have your house. You little <laughs> and grab me anyway. <laughs> that was quick. All right, so what, what are you doing? Are you uh, persuading or are you trying to escape? I want to I want to escape with the bracelet. <laughs> well, if you would like to try to find the bracelet on Fizzlepot, you can go ahead and roll a sleight of hand check real quick. Let's see. Oh, that's not the good. I okay. want to hold you. I think I got to get out. I'm going to die. You did jump right in the middle of this <laughs> encounter. <laughs> I thought it would be insta death. <laughs> I was wrong. Ah, okay. That's not a thing. If I roll sleight of hand, can I roll to escape as well? Uh, or is it just one? Uh, as, your, as a bonus action, you can start moving away from the group. Um, I'll, I'll allow that. I think I should just go. Okay, so you, you want to take your full turn to try and get out. Yes. All right, uh, just letting you know, if you do leave their range, they also get attacks of opportunities on you. Oh, my God! <laughs> what am I These do? are pole arms dudes, yeah. Oh, no! Okay, I'm going to persuade. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good thing you tried to stab that guy. That was great. I'm going to persuade. 14 plus 4 is 18! All right, what do you say to these guardsmen that you've just tried to murder their boss from? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a lot to drink, and I was having war flashback, and I thought you were my old enemy, and so I thought I should kill you. But now I'm re I realize it was a mistake, and you just, can you just let me leave, and I will never bug you again, except for the bracelet. <laughs> Please, sir, look how beautiful woman. Um, all right. Wait, so wait, <laughs> I have a baby. I have snake snake comes out. Snake snake is like... Don't don't put me into the middle of your mess. If I die, you die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So, even though your 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 story is interesting, uh, both the guards do temporarily stop, and they're like, I. <sighs> War flashbacks. Oh, we, we we want to be uh, uh you know um, uh, understanding, and um, we 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 don't want to murder this lady. She's giving up, right, right, but. She, she does seem to be one of those snake woman monsters. Don't be racist. I'm not a racist! <laughs> I'm just saying! Um, <laughs> uh, and after after your impassioned plea uh, yes. to these guards, uh, Fizzlepot, um, now awake, uh, <laughs> still sort of in his drunken stupor, is like, What? Gods, don't listen to her! She just stabbed me right there! There it is! And he's just like, look, like, like taking his hand, putting it on like the wound, and like putting it on the guards. He's like, look, look, it's right here. Kill her, kill her, you nincompoops! poops. Ladies, enjoy much the wound. And the guardsmen, guardsmen are like, uh, we're sorry, man. He is where our money comes from, and they they ready their their, their uh, pole arms against you again. Um, uh. After this, uh, are you still trying to look around the the interior, or are you trying? Are you planning on jumping into this fight? Fine, I'll come fucking save you. I'll jump in. All right. Um. So you 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 enter you enter the a doorway. They still don't see you because you are invisible. Uh. And you notice that these guards are right about to like stab the crap out of Anya's face. Okay. All right. Um, fortunately for you, though, since their, uh, since their pole arms are turned elsewhere, uh, you can enter the room no problem. Oh, well, I mean, they don't see you. You could have entered the room no problem anyway. Mm -hmm. So you can position yourself however you like to start the combat off. Okay, um... But first, roll initiative so I can have you in this initiative. I have a question. Yes. Am 16. I out of initiative? Cool. Uh, yeah, you are, you are out of initiative now because you exited combat. Am I able to see in, like, what's going on, though? Yeah, you can totally uh, watch from the outside if you'd like. Well, I, I'd like to do something. Okay. So I don't know where I fell in the initiative. Um, if you want to do something out of combat, we'll just uh, you can just tell me, and then we'll put your action after the round of combat we go through. Okay. Which is uh, right now, so oh. if there's anything you'd like to do. Yeah, so I can see Anya, right? Yes. All right, I would like to cast a healing word. Okay. On her. 
So, uh, creature of your choice, see what the range gets, uh, 1d4 plus my mod, which is 3, so 1d4 plus 3. Alright, and you're wearing the bracelet, correct? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and roll that dice, and Anya, you will, yeah, you will heal up yeah. however much you rolls. Yay! Uh, that's a 2, so 5. Five? Okay, you gain five hit points. Um, one of the guard notices your wounds are visibly closing on you. Uh, he, he says to his friends, like, There's a caster somewhere! Be on the lookout! You hear that. <laughs> um, and uh, you'll, you'll have your attack action next round of combat, and you'll just jump in. Okay. Uh, for now, uh, 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 Kovacs, what are you doing? I want to go around, back through the front door. What do I see? Uh, you see exactly what I just described to them. You see a, a pile of uh, a people tr desperately trying to stab Anya to death. Um, Fizzlepot is trying to bark orders. Um, uh, yes. Where, is where's everything in relation to like me standing in the front door? Okay, so you're right in front of the door. Uh, what you see is a big overturned oak table, right? Mm -hmm. they've, they've used for cover. Okay. Um, and behind that table is the uh, is the guardsman, uh, the the uh, Fizzlepot, and Anya. You don't see Werblin because he's still invisible. Um, and just for logistics of the room, there seems to be uh, a, a lot of chairs off the side. This looks like a meeting room of some mm -hmm. sort. There's uh, uh, shelves filled with many, many books. Uh, there is a chandelier on, on the roof, uh, a little bit away from you. Um, and uh, that is that is all you see from the first floor. So with this overturned table, what's mm -hmm. like what angle is it is it at? Like our uh... it, it go, gets up to, uh, to them about here, chest length. Mm -hmm. So it provides them with uh, half cover. So, so are their backs to me? Uh, no, their sides are to you. Like they're just okay. Sort of, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And uh, and I see Fizzlepot. He's just make he's yelling orders. Yeah, he's yelling orders. Does he have the bracelet? <laughs> make a perception check. That's all I want to know. Um, thirteen. He does. You see a sleeve cool. of a glint of silver. And you, you recognize it right away. It's the guard bracelet. I would like to approach him. You're going to have to jump into this initiative. There's a big fight going on. <laughs> uh, is he, are, are the guards like, like, is he between them? Yeah, he's like, between them. So, so to get to him, you're going to have to go through, yeah. go through a guard. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. That's fine. All right. So initiative. I believe that's uh, 16. Okay, cool. Uh, which of you have the higher decks, you or Zach? Um, I have a plus two on my decks. Plus two? Mine's a plus three. Also, plus I'm three. dumb. I forgot to add to my initiative. It's actually 18. Oh! Well. Sorry to mess you up. No, no, no problem. I'll just put you in another spot, and that makes it easier. Do, 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 do. Very convenient. Yes, very, mm. very convenient. Moving up in the world. That's right. <clears throat> uh, so you... And we're going to get back to tricks in a second. It's going to be great. Uh, you uh, join the initiative, and you start moving <laughs> towards them. You draw your weapon. Uh, it is now a proper fight. Uh, Sick. Next round of combat, it is the guard's turn. Um, they see that you have uh, you've entered the room, and you're approaching them aggressively. So one of the guards turns to you. He has a very long reach on his polearm, and he can get to you. So he's going to uh, try to poke you a bit with... Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't get you. <laughs> he, he misses wildly. He's just like, ah! <laughs> oh, you're home. Oh, I'll get you one next time. Right. Uh, and then the other guard will continue to try to stab Anya to death because that's the popular thing to do. Um, uh, again, you manage to sidestep as he just brings the thing down, hits the hits the marble floor. I tried to see you. Uh, Wurblund. Uh, you can decide where you want to start off this combat, uh, anywhere around them. Um, so he's jumping in. She's yeah. just been healed and has dodged attacks. Yeah. I'm not going to jump in yet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can I do sleight of hand for the bracelet without um, breaking my invisibility? Um, you can roll for it, but uh, whether or not you get the bracelet or not, that's that's uh, I'm going to call that uh, the breaking of the invisibility because it's it's in this chaotic you know, cluster. So if I fighting. if I do get it, then I, I stay invisible? If saying? you do get it, you still break the invisibility, but you'll have it. Mm. Nate, give me a disappointment water. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Slide of hand. Seven. Seven? No. You reach for it, 
Um, you reach for it, and there's this weird moment where, where uh, instead of getting the bracelet, you, you grab his hand, right? So you guys share this, like, look, where he's just like, Kill her! Is it love? <laughs> <laughs> you have that moment. It's great. It's beautiful. And that's your turn. Wonderful. Um, yes. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Nate is not in the thing, so... <sighs> Kovex. What about Trixa? Uh, Trixa's coming. Okay, okay. So, uh, there's a guard between me and Fizzlepot, right? There's two guards, technically, between you and Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess this guy up. Alright. Um, so, he's got a, he's got a polearm. Yeah, he's got a polearm. He already tried to attack me? Yeah, he tried to attack you. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and swing my short sword. Do it! And it's, uh, 20. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you so absolutely that, hit. That probably hits. Um, Roll for damage. Five. Five points of damage. Okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> so you, uh, you you bring your short sword down, you you glance uh, off the uh, the metal shoulder pad he has and sinks it right into the, his collar and he, he winces, there's blood. Uh, he's, he, he's still he's still up, but he, he's obviously fairly hurt. Um, do I have a like a bonus action? Would I be able to uh, do like an intimidate? Or something. Intimidate him as a bonus action? Yeah. Um yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh All go right. ahead and intimidate. Alright, so I'm a roll. Yes. And it's not great, but uh it is a twelve. It's twelve. And I say, You're outmatched, child. Leave. Uh uh he he's grabbing his wound and he looks at you because everything is so panicked and chaotic. The only thing he grasps onto is the last part of what you said, and he's like, I'm 34! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Anya, <laughs> it's your turn. He, he, he's not intimidated. He's, he's just, not. It's just too much going on. I'm an old guy. Right. <laughs> so since my persuasion didn't work out, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and try to slice. Uh, what's his name? His throat. Fizzlebutt. F Fizzlebutt. All right. All right. <sighs> <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm gonna die. <laughs> 11 plus, oh, nothing. No, ah! but you do swipe wildly and it's, 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 you know, it's distracting, at least. They're looking at you. <laughs> You've That's... drawn aggro, as it were. Help! <laughs> <laughs> um, it is uh, Fizzlepot's turn. Uh, he looks at his guards like, useless, I will do this myself. Um, he, he draws his weapon, it's a very flimsy looking rapier, right? And it's like, ah, tell that, you knave! And he, he, he <laughs> attempts to strike the sword on the ground, obviously trying to procure a spell of some sort, right? Nothing happens, uh, uh you around him notice a ring on his finger glow slightly, and a magic set of papers s just sort of appear in his hands, and a pen. And he drunkenly looks at it, he's like, what? I, oh, that's right! Damn you, bureaucracy! And he starts filling <laughs> out this paperwork right in front of you. Anya, roll an arcana check to see if you recognize what is even happening this right so now. so real. Can I roll a two <laughs> since I'm there? Yes, yes. You, you, I roll a nine. Nine? Yeah. Six. Six? Um, you you don't know exactly what's happening, but you've heard of something like this in very bureaucratic cities, um, where uh, magic is seen as like a possible chaotic factor in the governance of uh, their, their, uh, their town. Sometimes um, uh, the government will issue out these <coughs> rings called the uh, oh, what is it? wizardry rings of bureaucracy. Right? That, that It's a real item. Um, and what happens is, if you wear this ring, <laughs> every time you try to cast a spell, you have to fill up paperwork. Saying exactly what it is you hope to achieve, what the spell effects are. <laughs> so, I'll be right with you, just, just take a second! I'll get you in a second! And that's what Fizzlepot does with his turn. Does, Fizz um, does Fizzlepot live in L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> Even better, all haven. Um, Let me just finish this anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once I cross my teeth and dot my eyes, you'll be finished. Um, however, 
at the end of this uh, combat round, you all sort of notice the temperature in the room start to grow a little chillier. Even in the middle of your combat, it's starting to get real cold. And it's, that's interesting because it's very comfortable outside. Um, you know, it's a perfect night for the Lunar Feast. Um, the chandelier, the fire on the chandelier start snuffing themselves out one by one. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, um, everyone make a perception check real quick in the middle of your... Three. Terrible rolls today. Yeah. Seven. 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 Nine. Nine? Thirteen? I don't know about Oh, no, you don't need to. <laughs> Seven. Seven? Yeah. All right. Um, so you, you guys can't exactly make out what's going on because the lights are very rapidly going out. But um, one of the last things you do see, you, you tilt your eyes up, and you notice a small figure in the doorway. Very small, very still figure, right? In one hand is a very large meat cleaver. You recognize it. It's the one from the Pretty Cook, right? Jagged, um, gleaming. Uh, and this small figure turns its head up. As the lights are going out, you see black veins running down its skin, pure milky white eyes, and just a hanging mouth open, and you see tiny, tiny needle-like teeth in a big smile. And as the lights go out, you see the jaw begin to widen and widen in a very... <sighs> and the lights completely go out. And now you're in the dark with this thing. Oh. Hey! Fizzlebot has seen this too, and as the lights go completely, completely out, you just hear him whisper, I'd like to negotiate for the terms of my surrender, please. <laughs> please? Please? Oh my god! Um, top of the round, uh, guards, it's, it's their turn, they're, they're panicked, they saw the same thing, they're sort of wildly uh, stabbing around them, trying to get any of you. So let's see. You, you, um, are you? You're not I'm, in the I'm outside. Yeah, you're outside. I'm very uh, outside. <laughs> and you. So the three of you, let's see if they hit, try to swing at one of you. Okay, uh, they're, it's going to end up trying to swing at you. Gotcha. Um, wildly misses. Gotcha. Uh, completely in the dark. And the other guy will try to blindly swing at you again. <laughs> you're just lucky, you know. You have the stats to back it up. If anyone should get hit, right. it's, yeah. Um, uh, what's your AC really quick? It's 17. Okay, uh, this one meets. So okay. he's going to get you a bit with the pole arm in the dark. Um, ooh, uh, 10 points of damage. Ouch! Yeah. Yeet! Ooh. 10 points of damage. It, it gets you right in the side. Yes. It's not very comfortable. Um, you... It, 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 Pierces your your side just under your ribs, and it, it um it, it's uh he pulls it back. A gush of blood comes out. Um, not not fatal, but it, that does not feel. That good. does not feel good. No, it does not. I need my spells. <laughs> Wordland, you are in pitch blackness in a room with a thing that hates you. <laughs> just where I like to be. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you you still do have his hand, by the way. Can I? Try to grab it. Uh, in the dark, yes, it's going to be disadvantage though. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll uh, sleight of hand with disadvantage. Nat twenty. Oh. All right. And thirteen. Okay. Um, he's uh, he's also going to have uh less of an advantage trying to uh figure out what you're doing. So thirteen is enough. You slide you slide the ring bracelet uh right off his hand. Um, you, you, you feel him flailing for it because he's noticed, uh, so you, you're now, that's your turn, you, you, you retrieved it, uh, you put it away, um, and that's, uh, you have a bonus action if you'd like to do something. Uh, um, is, does it have the ring on it, or is the ring he has on a separate thing? Oh, no, 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 it's, uh, the, the bracelet is the ring, I'm sorry, like, a ring bracelet thing. Uh, okay, so that's not the bureaucracy thing that he was using. Oh, no, he, that's not the bureaucracy. That's, okay. Yeah. Um, if I have a bonus action, I'll put it on. Uh, you'll put the thing on? Okay, yeah. sure. You you put it to your wrist. Okay. Um, you gain one AC for having it on, oh, and nice. now you can cast spells without uh, insta-death golems coming for you. Fabulous. Yes. Um, Alright. <clears throat> Kovacs. 
so it's super dark. Is it like could I see with night vision or is it like um magic? you can see with night vision. Oh, no, it's not okay. magic. Okay. You can you can okay. see with night vision. So you don't you're not you're not as visually impaired. So what the hell Neither are you actually. What what what, what am I seeing Wait, with this this what? fiend in the doorway? All right. Um it just is it just still standing there? No, it's it's slowly making its way towards you. It's it's taking its time. What okay. did you say I don't I don't have? You're a deep gnome, right? So yeah. I think you have dark vision? I do. Yeah. Okay, so you you the this advantage thing was totally uh, uncalled for because you could see perfectly clear. I uh, have but, superior dark vision, so yes. 120 so, feet. Okay. But good thing you you made it work anyway. Um and you can see this too. Uh and anyone with sort of any sort of low light dark vision can see this. Uh this 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 little, this little form dragging this cleaver behind her with just the brightest smile on its face, uh, 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 just pure milky eyes, uh, black veins all over, making her way slowly to your group, like a kid, like really excited to play with her friends, and she's gonna take the rest of this turn getting to you. That's what you see. Okay, so she's far away from the door at this point. Um. And she's she started walking out toward uh, like past the door. Right. Would it be reasonable to attempt to like tackle her through the door and get her out of the house? <sighs> you can try that. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> um. So let's let's do. Uh. Yeah. So I'm gonna call that since it's it's still real uh real chaotic around you. Let's call that a opposed strength check plus, um, uh, I'm sorry, not strength check, uh, opposed athletics. Um, so you roll off against her athletics, both of you. Gotcha. Eight. Plus all the bonuses? Mm, ten. Ten. Okay. Ten, ten? Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you, you get there and you... And you try to bull rush her through the door, but you're stopped completely. Uh, you feel these cold, withering tendrils of shadow start snaking around your body. You feel it clutch onto the, the front of your shirt, raise you up, and you're staring right into its face. Uh, and, and it looks down at you, and it's just like... Oh boy. And it slowly licks your face. Like Hunter. Uh, is my turn over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is your turn. Huh. <laughs> Anya. Yes. Yes, it is your turn. I also have dark vision. Yes. So you see that happening. I do? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, so... Do I know that he took the bracelet? Uh, yes, because uh, he's right next to you at this point, and you've seen that he slipped it off. Okay. And I'll just say, you should have just given me house and died sooner. Now you die. And I roll. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll to attack. Fizzlepot? Priorities. Ooh, 18. Ooh. Wait, sorry, 18 to hit. 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, you absolutely <laughs> Roll for damage. <laughs> Am I still on initiative? Uh, n no, you, you're not on initiative, but uh, if you have any actions you want to take, okay. since you're outside and not involved with the battle, you let me know after the combat round is finished, Okay. and we'll get you in. I would like to do something once this round is finished. Okay. I just, I go for his neck. It's mm -hmm. seven damage. Seven damage? Okay. Uh, let's see. Seven damage. Alright, so uh, you, you swing for his neck. You do graze him right across here. Um, he, he manages to avoid, like, a straight-up, you know, uh, throat-cutting situation. And he's just like, ah! <laughs> You just wait! <laughs> mm. um, and that uh, is your turn. All right. Fizzlebot uh, finally finishes filling out his bureaucratic paperwork. It's like, ah! Uh, throws it up into the air. It dissipates. Um, he, he slams his... A uh, rapier down on the ground, and it, it glows with a pale blue light uh, as he casts magic weapon on it. And he's like, ah, 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 I have you now! <laughs> he's really excited about his accomplishment. Um, he doesn't get into fights much. Uh, that is his turn. He, he's able to magicify his rapier. That boy's in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Pluck. Okay. So what would you like to do? I would like to. 
So okay, so I have I have low light vision. I don't have dark vision. Do I see all of that? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So I would like to let me see. What's the range? How far is that from me? Um, if you were to like just ignore the wall between you guys, it would take you. I want to say almost an entire round to get to them. So it's more than ten feet. It's more than ten feet. Yeah. Oh, neat. Um, okay, then... I'm going to... Is there a rock near me? Wait, is... So first first of all, I, I can, I can like, see through, like, a window. Like, there's an open window. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, is there a rock near me? Yes. Yes, you can, you, you can find a rock near you. Okay, I would like to use magic stone on that rock okay. and throw it at this horrifying thing. <laughs> okay, once you throw it at her, though, you will be re-entering initiative. That is... Is that all right? I mean, I, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, roll... What is your AC right now? Thirteen. Thirteen. Are you counting your... Um, uh, oh, no, no, you don't get plus. I don't, yeah. Yeah, thirteen. Okay, yeah, so you're going to have to hit a uh, thirteen with your... Ranged throw. Okay, so that is that's a six. <laughs> All right. So um, as as you're being accosted by this monster, uh, you 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 see you see pluck in the window. You see him wind up. He's gonna save you. He throws the rock, lands right next to you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And uh, you notice the monster turn its head impossibly around, like like all the way back to stare right at you, <laughs> exorcist style. <laughs> <laughs> and that is uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Let's see where you end up. All right, Will. It's been real. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, twenty-two. Okay, cool. Twenty-two. So you're at the very top since you just moved. We'll say that was your move for the turn. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to actually roll initiative for you now. Um, by the way, while all this is happening, uh, you are you you feel there's a very pleasant sensation of being in the middle of a really nice nap. You know, there's things happening around you, but it's probably just the dream. You know, all that screaming. <clears throat> It's 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 not too it's it's not too big a deal. Um, however, I, I you you go ahead and roll another wisdom save. Four. You it's a great dream. You're, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're you're playing with your friends. You know you're you're hanging out with your mom. Everything's great. Not your mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someone else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's another dream. Um, all right. So uh, your initiative was right here. Okay. Top of the round. Um, <clears throat> Kovacs. Shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a reflex save. For me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but, 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 but what's, what stat is that? I don't see it on my, is it dex? Yeah, there should be a reflex save uh, yeah. area on your sheet. I don't know, do we have that on d, &D Yeah, I don't see it. Really? Um, but if it's just your dex modifier, then it's 21. I rolled an 18. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so here's what happens. Uh, you, you manage to get yourself out of the thing's grip just in time before a massive, sharpened tendril of shadow shoots up right where your chin used to be, uh, avoiding impalement and death. Me. Right. So you stumble back a distance. Um, uh, you see that this this thing in front of you is is turns its head back around, uh, not to face you, but to face the rest of them. Um, and now, using her movement, she ignores you completely, and starts to proceed slowly towards the struggling group right past you. Once again, I would like to attempt to drag her out of this house. On your on your turn, you can totally try to do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, the guard, it's the guard's turn. Um, they will, uh, one of them has spotted you 
stealing the bracelet, so they're going to try to accost me. Um, not very successfully. What's your AC? My AC, okay, I have natural 12 plus, oh my, plus 16, so 28. Whoa, no, 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 wait, wait, wait no, no. What? You're, uh, your AC probably is not 28, but uh, it, it should be 12 it, plus. But gear I have, whatever, it's, it says I have a chainmail shirt that's right. worth 15 AC. Uh, it's 15 AC plus your dex modifier, I believe. So it changes your 12 into a 15 plus uh, plus the modifier instead mm. of adding ah. it onto. Otherwise, okay. that'd be crazy. Okay, so <laughs> you just put him in the room and no one could ever hit him. Then I have 15 plus the one from the bracelet, so yes. 16. Is there anything else modifying that? Uh, unless you're wearing some sort of armor that does, no. which I don't believe you are. Okay, no, just the just 16. Uh, no, he does not hit you. It glances uh, right off. Um, what leather you're wearing, and it doesn't connect with you at all. Oh, I still got it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the other guard, uh, <laughs> has no luck. Wow, these guards suck. Uh, so the other guard also, so you make one death move to the side, and you make another, you're very small, so it's hard to hit. And they're like, yeah, stay still! <clears throat> uh, no luck. Um, and it is your turn. Hmm, okay, so... Fizzlepot has just cast his spell. Yes, his sword is now magic. <laughs> okay. Um, where, like, explain the the arrangement of the room and everybody. Okay, now. so now both of you are now um, both of you, all three of you uh, are on the other side of this this table they set up as a barricade, right? Um, Fizzlepot is still sort of in the back, in the middle of these two guards who are still side by side, trying to keep him from from uh, from harm. Um, and you, you are onto the, on the side, sort of behind them, where you have just stolen, uh, their, their bracelets, so one of them has turned to you, well, both of them have actually turned to you to try to stab you out. Um, and, uh, you, Anya is on, the, um, the opposite end, uh, where they have just turned from her to focus on you. And you, uh, are closer to where Anya is. So, uh... By uh, Fizzlepot? Uh, not by Fizzlepot, but closer to one of the guards. So... Let's say this is the group of guards in Fizzlepot. Here's Zach. Here's Hunter. Mm -hmm. Here's Christina. Okay. Yeah. Um, exit entrances. Uh, still only just you. You see the window that uh, Pluck tried to throw a rock through, and also the uh, main entrance, the door that you all came in. Otherwise, there's no other exits to this room. Where is Demon Lady standing? In Demon Lady is quickly approaching you on the other side of the table. Okay, so in the direction of the main entrance or the window? Uh, main entrance. Okay. Um, one of the guards is injured, right? Is the thing in his shoulder? Yeah. I'm going to go for him. Okay. Roll to hit. 12. 12? Uh, let's see. That's just a raw number, right? Or do I add something to that? Uh, you should be adding your... Uh, let's see. You have... Uh, 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 oh. That word, um, uh, your uh, you're using strength, right? So your strength mm -hmm. modifier plus your um, it's one proficiency. Proficiency. Oh, I brain farted so hard on word proficiency. Proficiency bonus. <laughs> proficiency from oh here we go. Yeah. Plus one. Um. Wait, which proficiency? I have a few of them. Um, it's at the top of the page. Yes. Ah. Yeah, it's a plus. Okay, so plus three, so fifteen. Yeah, you you absolutely hit. Roll okay. for damage. <clears throat> um, and I want I have the ability to use both of my weapons for full hits, right? So yes. That, if we have to classify that as a separate hit. Uh, it's your bonus action if you want to swing one more time. Okay, I'll start with the d six. Okay. Is that which one's the d six? The traditional. Yes. Six. Six plus, plus your strength. Strength modifier. Seven. Seven points of damage. All right. Uh, you you. Gash him straight down the back, uh, exposing <laughs> exposing stuff you don't want exposed. Uh, he 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 gets to one knee. He was not expecting that at all. He starts to turn towards you. Do you use your second? Uh, you use your bonus action to attack again. Absolutely. All right, roll the hit again. Why does my D twenty? What? It's a six plus three nine. Uh, nine to hit. Yeah. No, you you missed that one. Okay. Uh, so he he stumbles out of the way as you try to finish him off. Um, he is very hurt, but still up, um, uh, bleeding heavily. Uh, let's see. That is your turn, uh, Kovacs. It is now your turn. 
All right, where am I in relation to this aberration? <laughs> um, they're actually... <laughs> uh, your, your friends and the guards and Fizzlepot are actually between uh, you... <laughs> Uh, you and uh, the the demon now, because the crazy fight has moved along, and 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 it's uh, you're closer to them now than you are to her. I really want to move her away from everyone. So I don't know if dragging or tackling or it's up to you. Well, okay, so so I'm like I'm like here, and she's like here, and then everyone else is here. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I mean, so you're you're here, uh-huh. right? Everyone else is like here, yeah. right? And she's now moving this way. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Gonna go for a, I guess, a grapple, and try to grab this thing and just pull it away towards the door. All right. As much as I can in one turn. So this time, as you run toward her, um, you notice uh, one of the veins on her face coalesce into this black, shadowy point and it shoots out of her skin no. straight oh, great at great great oh. and well uh, what was your ac 17 that meets unfortunately oh boy oh um boy. so uh you are going to get hit for a bit of damage <clears throat> uh that is seven points of damage um and unfortunately for you uh, being enraged grants Trixa the sentinel feat, uh-huh. uh, and you see this—you see this shadowy tendril drill a hole through your calf into the floor, no. locking you in place. You can no longer move until your turn. Hmm. So you're like, uh, like you're just, huh. you can't. Excuse me. Huh. Oh my gosh. It's a homunculus. It's my turn. <laughs> Um, yes, it is your turn. So I see that happen, and I decide that that saving Kovacs and my team is more important than getting the house. So I... <laughs> Finally! <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go for it and cast Charm Person. Okay, on who? On that one. <clears throat> All right, well, what's your, um, what's your spell save DC? It should be written on your page there. Dun, dun, dun. Don't, don't. Is that? I don't know. Spell save DC. Yes, spell save DC. Should be on your page. Spell save. Uh, 12. 12? Okay, cool. Uh, so you uh, you look at the terrible demon and you're like... I say, the sun's getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I cast charm person. <laughs> Uh, um, uh, you, you cast the charm, uh, immediately you're not quite sure what happens, you see her face turn towards you, uh-huh. and you see the little tendril she has embedded in, uh, Kovacs's, uh, a leg twist even more, <gasps> causing excruciating pain to Kovacs, and she just does it right in front of you. Mm. With the biggest, happiest smile on her face. <laughs> this is the worst case of tetanus I've ever seen. <laughs> All because of that nail you stepped on. However, if it fails... Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, wait, no. Okay, it says if it... Wait. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you fail in trying to... Uh, 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 charm the, the monster... Um, Question of yes. Regretti Spaghetti, but does she have the bracelet or do I? You have a bracelet. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Fizzle Pot's turn. Uh, he. Let's see. You're, you, you have his bracelet, so he's going to try to get it back for you. Um, <laughs> comically fails. Uh, tries to stab you. Uh, Hits his table instead, chips some wood off. Goes, ah, my table! Um, he 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 takes his bonus action to because uh, he's still drunk. Uh, he takes his bonus action to check the quality of the wood that he's chipped. I That's this man. 
That's his turn. Um, top of top of the round, uh, Pluck, you've rolled the highest, so you are now first. Yay! Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. All right, so... So they're all in there. The, the, this thing's attention is not on me, right? Uh, it's, no, it's not on you. And I've seen it pierced his, uh, his leg. Yes. For as, as long as Trixa is enraged uh, because of Izaz, she has the sentinel feet. But I can see Kovacs, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Kovacs. All right. <laughs> so that is going to be... Ooh, okay. So seven. All right. Heal seven. That's um, good. The wound in your leg starts to heal a little bit. Um, unfortunately for you, it starts to heal around the black inky tendril. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's great. <clears throat> Looks just like, I swear to God, if everyone fucking dies today. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so that is your turn. Um, Trixa, uh, <clears throat> this, this dream is getting very, very uh, churny. It, it's getting harder and harder to stay asleep. Uh, go ahead and roll wisdom now with advantage. Fifteen. All right. Um, just as uh, your uh, uh, the the you the evil you <laughs> uh, starts to make a motion towards Anya and the rest of them, and these black claws start to erupt from your hands. Um, your you, you snap back to reality. Uh, your eyes go from milky white to, to the regular color. Uh, the, the, the black veins start to fade away, and it just starts to unravel down your arm, and it's just you now. Um, you don't remember what's happened, uh, and you see in front of you what you see. <laughs> Where's Fizzlepot? Oh, he's right Trista, there. what the hell are you? <laughs> He's he's behind the uh, he's behind uh, the big table. He's uh, he's checking on the quality of his furniture because he's damaged it. He's going through an appraisal. He'll be with you in a moment. I go run to jump over the table. You're gonna jump over the table at, at him. All right. So go ahead and roll acrobatics. Seven. All right. Um, you jump onto the table. <laughs> uh, you don't quite reach him, but because you jumped onto the table, it flips the table all the way over, so the legs are up now. No, they have no longer have cover. So that's good. I meant to do that. <laughs> uh, so that is your turn. You have uncovered them. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It is the guard's turn now. Um, they will... <laughs> There's a hole in his leg. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, ooh, he will actually hit Wurblund this time. Oi! Uh, right? Uh, ooh, for 10 points of damage. Oi! Uh, gets you, uh, gets you right in the thigh. That hurts a lot. Um, the, these guards aren't, like, complete mooks. They're, they're okay skilled. Um, let's see, uh, and the other guard will continue to try and finish Anya off. Uh, oh! That's what? That's a natural 20. I rolled the one for damage. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> uh, so take, uh, take two points of damage. Two points. Um, it, the attack Looks very epic, but it was only a flesh wound. Oh, good. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I believe it is now uh, Warblin's turn. Okay. Um, how disabled is this guy that I attacked? Fairly, fairly. He's he he can't rise to both feet anymore. He's sort of on one knee, and he's just sort of fighting you off, uh, half crouched. Okay. Um. I'd like to dagger him through the eye. All right, dagger him through the eye. Roll to hit. Nineteen. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> roll for damage. Of the four. Three plus strength. Yes, uh, three plus uh, strength modifier. Uh, four. Four. Okay. Um. So. 
uh, as he's trying to fight you off, uh, you 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 see that uh, Trixa has overturned the table. He's lost his cover. After you dodge one of his swings, you plant a dagger onto one of the uh, oak legs of the table. You reach for his head, and you just sort of <laughs> right onto the dagger. Oof. Uh, he, he twitches, he spasms, and he falls dead. Eat it, soft flesh. <laughs> to get that one-liner in. That's right. All right, so now it's only uh, Fizzlepot and one guard left. Uh, Kovacs. I don't even know. What... <laughs> A lot has happened today. Uh-huh. It's, it's been a weird day. Yes. So, uh, my kind of separate... From people like you're separate, but you can get in on the action yeah, pretty quick okay. if you wanted. Oh man, God, what do I even want at this point? <laughs> I'm I'm shook. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just real mad. So. He's gonna stand there and you help. Tricks <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm gonna go for uh, there's a guard and, and Fizzlepot yes. left. I'm gonna go for the other guard. Okay. Um, the Just... other guard. The other guard is turned to you enough wherein you entering his uh, his range will have an attack attack of opportunity. Is that all right? Sounds great. Okay. He misses wildly though. Awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna slash his ass with a twenty-two. Nice. You hit. And that's a. F- Four damage swing. Mm-hmm. Four damage plus all your bonuses. Yep. All right. Yeah. You 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 hack at him. He you tear a long gash down his arm. He's he's wincing. He's he's holding his arm, but he's still he's still up. Um. Uh. Anya. Yes. Yes. What will you do now? I look to. How close are you? Are to, how close are you to the guard? Is anybody? Yeah, like, in melee range. Right. Is anybody like if I cast a fire spell, will they be hurt? Um, like what kind of fire spell? Just the single target one? Do you have a bracelet? She I doesn't know. I don't. Mm. Oh. I already cast those, so I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> you you oh. cast, though, you cast while wearing the bracelet because they let you have it, the invisibility spell. You haven't tried casting without it yet. Charm person. I Charm person. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you for keeping me honest. In so, that case... I'm casting Hellish and, Rebuke. Um, Fizzlepot did, too. Well, Fizzlepot, uh... Cast while he still had the thing on. Yeah, then you took the it. The bureaucracy <laughs> ring. The bureaucracy <laughs> ring. Yeah. What well, didn't he cast yeah. the magic sword spell? I-, I took it while he was signing the papers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to make some rolls really quick. Okay. I, I did that purposely. No. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's two magic spells cast now without bracelets. Ow! Uh, Good. Uh, uh, Christina, go ahead and, and and tell me odds or evens. Uh, odd. Beautiful. All right. How could this happen to me? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Christina, go ahead and continue with your action. All right. So I'm like, well, I'm pretty much fucked. So I, t- I want to do Hellish Rebuke and okay. just char, I guess, Fizzlepaw, because I, I don't want to... Hellish Rebuke, however, only works if someone's attacked you and you can use a... a, a I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you can use a uh, uh, like a response action to hellish rebuke them. Where am I? Incorrect? Yeah, I have it. That's that's how it works. It's sort yeah. of like a retaliation thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, the few. Okay, okay, yeah. So you can cast your other. I mean, he damage. damaged me in the past. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be the time to use it. Oh! 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 <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. Yeah. I'll do Eldritch Blast. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, that is a ranged spell attack, I believe. Uh, you should have bonuses to your uh, attack casting stuff right yes. alongside your, yes. All right. Let's just like watching her use oh, all this nice. magic with no bracelet. He's just like. Yeah, you all see this <laughs> happening. She's just straight up casting now without. 13. 13 to hit? Yep. Um, he, uh, oh yeah, the, the cover's gone now. Yeah, you, you hit him straight onto the chest. Uh, go ahead and roll for damage. Ooh. Eleven. Eleven? Oh, ooh, eleven points of damage. Oh, mm-hmm. crap. Okay, um, uh, the, the, the guard rises, sort of aims his pole arm at you, uh, this green eldritch energy coalesces in your hand, you just sort of 
gesture at him, it collides, uh, this f greenish flame energy collides into his chest, blasts him um, out of the fight completely, smashes him against the wall, and hits the ground dead. You see burning embers where his eyes used to be. You okay, have birdie. destroyed this man completely. Um, go ahead and call odds or evens one more time. <laughs> what? Even. Evens? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, all right, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> um, God. As as the last guard goes down, uh, Fizzlepot sees that he's in a terrible situation. <laughs> Uh, he, he, suddenly. yeah, suddenly he's, uh, he's finally coming out of his drunken stupor. He, he drops his sword and he's like, whoa, okay, okay, let's all be calm. Let's all be civilized. I give up. I give up. No need to kill Lord, Lord Fizzlepot. Fizzlepot, where do you keep your beautiful suit of armor? My suit of armor. Kovacs, it's upstairs. Yeah. I it's, want to hear him say it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's upstairs. It's been passed down my family for generations. Oh, he doesn't care about that part. He cares about where it is. Oh, it's, it's right Quiet, upstairs. quiet, you disgusting old man. <laughs> I'm 40. <laughs> um, everyone go ahead and make a perception check really quick. Uh-oh. Two. Two, 16. Oh. 17. 17. So I got a natural 19 plus. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I have plus three, 19. Oh, oh, nice. Minus one, 18. Okay. 16. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Jurassic Park style, you oh. noticed that the furniture in the house is starting to shake. Uh-oh. Jesus, fuck. Are we at <laughs> The chandelier starts to go... <clears throat> Uh, Are we out of initiative? Oi, oh, Trixie, you've initiative. really done it now! Pluck. What? That's not... <laughs> Pluck That's just, not me! Hey, Pluck just, like, bolts it, like, just away from the house. It's like, ah, nope. Look at their suckers! <laughs> <laughs> Could I borrow a bracelet for just a moment? Why, oh, yes, you may. Um, as you guys start heading out the door, and you've, you've equipped this bracelet, um, you hear uh, a, a wagon and a horse start coming up to the to the door, and, and if you w look out, you see that it's Top Button uh, with uh, Shady Jeff and Walter. Top Button has this panicked look on his face, and as he reaches the door, he's like, uh, What happened? I smelled all this magic coming from... I don't, oh. don't want to leave. You, you don't want to leave? I want to sling my cleaver at Top Button. Uh, not Top Button. <laughs> Fizzlepot! You want to swing the cleaver at Fizzlepot? Yes. Okay, uh, really quick, on um, Top Button... Uh, does manage to get this piece of information out to you. It's like, you all might want to get out of here real fast. There's just a and and you 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 swing uh, down at Fizzlepot. Um, you don't connect because a sword uh, intersects with your blade right before you hit Fizzlepot, and it's Walter. Walter has a very pleasant look on his face. It's like. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know this is inconvenient, but we. <laughs> but Katri has told us, if at all possible, we're going to take him back with us. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Um. <laughs> so I was you... about to be really mad at you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. As long as you know, it's just want to keep everyone happy and chipper. Um, so, uh, uh Top Button is trying to get you out of the house. It's like, there is a giant death machine coming, and you all need to get out of here right now. And oh, balls! And he's he looks out of the over behind the uh the mansion, and you can see through the windows a large two-story jet black adamantite golem is racing right for this mansion. All in favor of leaving Anya on the ah! <laughs> I... Oh, I did I wait. save you and you tried hearing me? <laughs> it's all me. It's all because you didn't give me bracelet. I am warlock. I deserve bracelet. I Please, deserve we need to go. We're going to be crushed on their foot. Oh, everyone on the wagon. <laughs> I would like to use a spell. Okay. I would like to cast Command on Fizzlepot. Okay. And I just want to say, comply. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your spell save, DC? Uh, 13 Wisdom. Okay, 
bring us whatever you want, please. Let's just go. And I give you the bracelet. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so you guys uh, race out of there. You get on the back of this wagon. Uh, Shady Jeff um, uh, drives you off through the city. Uh, behind you, you see this massive golem just burst through this home, tearing apart whatever it can find, just rampaging until it's nothing but flattened wood and marble. Um, my house. <laughs> Excuse me, that is my house? I, so, I fought for it. Make an intelligence check really quick. You specifically. Uh, where did I end up? Not 20. Not tw- okay. Ooh. What was it? Where did I end up? Because before it even showed up, like, I just bolted, and I'm not sure where I am. <laughs> <laughs> you were inside the house, but I assume you, you went with everybody. I was outside the house. Oh, this, I thought you... He bolted out of the house. Yeah, oh, was, okay, okay, I was okay. already right. outside. And okay, then, then you, up, like, you met up with Top Button uh, faster than others, and you got into the wagon, and you're like, okay. let's go. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, You had asked earlier... Yes. If uh, I was if, about to say, so yeah. it goes to the source. It goes to the source. Okay. Instead of the caster. It just senses where the magic happened, and comes to that. Thank goodness. No. Can I get can I get my horse? Uh <laughs> oh, would you like to go back? Are we too far away? We're too far away. Damn it. Give you a new horse. Uh, I have to come back later. <laughs> Let's see if that horse is there. Kovacs. If you, if you need I'll a, buy you a bloody horse. For what you did back there. And okay. if you need a horse in the meantime, I got you. <laughs> <clears throat> You're not the most uh, experienced horse? <clears throat> but just kind of. But you're quite handsome. Quite handsome. <laughs> this conversation's making me a wee bit uncomfortable. I killed the man. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, back to normal. <laughs> uh, so um, you you've uh, you've got a, a fizzle pot wrapped up in some rope in the back of this cart. Uh, <laughs> uh, fortunately for you guys, before the house was completely devastated. Uh, Shady Jeff, with um, a great nose for treasure, managed to salvage the the chest from the house before everything was obliterated. However, whatever was in the cellar is now lost to you. Uh, that's been completely rampaged up. Um, so yeah, you you guys have a bit of time before you hit, head back to Fairheim. You're on the road. Um, is there anything you'd like to ask or demand from Fizzlepot during this time? He's, he's, he's keeping to himself, it's like, yeah, bloody bureaucracy, it's all this Fizzle. ring's fault. I still Give me the, the ring. All st- right, he just gives you the ring. I still yes. have the, the gold that I found, right? Well, yeah. Like, okay, cool. He's just, just like chewing on one piece of it. All right. <laughs> so with the, with the command spell on him, does he have to comply with everyone, or just me, or...? Now, command is, um, uh, isn't that just you You issue him an order and he yeah. does it? Yes. Right. Uh, is there is there a time of activation after you Let cast it? Let's see with that. Or is it just the Where very next goes. order you give him? Where'd My go? feeling is that it's, since it's one word, it was probably just to, like, come with them. Right. right. Comply that. Right. Was that what one you thing. was that what you meant to do, or did you? Want I just to... want him to do what we want. <laughs> well, that's going to be more than one cast of command, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Can I go go up to him and mm. open a dialogue? Yes. Yes. Um, I don't say anything. I just take the dagger that I killed his guard with and just wipe it on his face. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Yes, that's very dramatic. I, oh, I, I'm I'm thirty percent more afraid now. Do you have any Excellent. useful information for us? Uh, uh, first, empty your pockets. What? <laughs> All right. Um, empties run. There's like candy wrappers. The bloody. I have a sweet tooth. Uh, <laughs> fat ass. <laughs> Plunk just kind of like sneaks in while he's holding it. And just like takes the candy wrapper. <laughs> he has like a tiny ounce of like the ambrosia drug on him. He goes like, I'd like to have a good time. A single gold coin. I spent a lot at the carnivals. <sighs> I'll waste the time to type that in. <laughs> if it were so, two, I would have had a thousand, but now I have nine hundred ninety. I go up to him and I lick the wound on his neck while simultaneously grabbing like some of his blood from my cut and putting it in a little vial. Ah, what is wrong with you people? She's literally drinking my blood. I ask myself the same question every day, lad. Yes. <laughs> Everyone has their quirks. You are a monster. You have more what? than quirks, lass. 
Yes, you are awesome. Okay, yes, and Fizzle... <laughs> Fizzlepot is just drunk enough still to do this. It's like, okay, look, I, I get it. I'm a terrible drug smuggler, but your friend is a literal monster. That's true. You're a well, you're not metaphorical wrong. monster. Okay, yes, a metaphorical monster, but you are literally a monster. We will what? take care of the discipline later. Don't what if she, What if she freaks out in this wagon? What do we even do? Then don't make me freak out. Ah! I guess that's your problem, Fizzle. It's your problem too. It does feel like old. My like friends old don't freak me out. I'm trying to be intimidating. Oh, you good? <laughs> she called me friend. <laughs> uh, is there? You're not off my shit list either. What did I do? <laughs> you know what she did. I don't care how cool it looked. <laughs> what? I don't get it. Why don't you like me? You're or just gonna cast up. a magic spell so the giant golem can come for tea! Well, you leave me powerless and defenseless. I am warlock, I am not skilled! Fizzlebot to like, You know, I have a lot of money. If you turn into a monster and murder everyone else, I can make you very rich. I, uh, we have can this hear money. you. I oh, try it's. To stab him in the he, sees, he sees the, his money, he's like, oh, it's. It's right, it's right here. Yeah! <laughs> I think we're good. Alright. <laughs> Now, if you had some information... Well, what, what do you want to know? We want to get the ruby. What can you tell us about King Algard? Where can I get bracelet? Uh, you have my bracelet, first of all. Where is another? Uh, I don't know, and another god captain. Uh, the king. Uh, well, uh, he's... He's solemn, he, he's, he's stoic and handsome. Uh, that's what the books say. I've never met him in person. Sounds uh, like potential mate. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> well, uh, I, I'm sorry, what Ruby are you talking about? Never mind Wait. that. Is he still alive? Yes, of course the king's alive. I, I mean, I would- Has anyone seen him? Recently? No. Something's up. That doesn't mean he's dead. Where is he fabled to live? Oh, uh, the, he points upwards uh, towards the north. You follow his hand and uh, you see just in the distance a large spire uh, in the middle of the vast city of Allhaven. A jet black spire pointing directly up into the sky. And that's where he keeps that artifact that made him so powerful. What artifact? The one on the statue. The statue? Ah, uh, that's just a legend. I've never heard of anyone actually believing that nonsense. <laughs> it's just a test. Uh, okay. Well, yes, he, he tends to keep to himself up in his tower that he liberated for all of a all haven. So if we were to pay him a visit, how would we access well, his tower? Well, first of all, he wouldn't... Take your visit, your criminals and monsters! Let us assume he would really enjoy our company. Uh, okay, will you be wrong, but, uh, I, he, the only people who have casual meetings with the king uh, are either part of his uh, uh, majocracy council or diplomats or, I suppose, uh, God captains of some experience who have had their posts for quite a while. Sounds like we need to move up in society. So how long have you had your post, Fizzlepot? Do oh, a number of years. They got it around the time they stuck a silver spoon up his arse. It's not up my arse, thank you. Uh, look, generally a god captain must be assigned one of those bloody rings uh, during their first few years before they're trusted enough to cast magic in the Blacksteel Isles. I free you from bureaucracy. You're welcome. Thank you. I see, now what you do? Say, oh no, I don't have to fill out the paperwork. Oh, I want to cast the magic. Can I? Yep. Yes. As Anya, no. as Anya continues to mock <laughs> Fizzlebot, <laughs> you guys get closer and closer to Fairheim. Uh, you see that uh, uh, Katri is in the middle of the town just waiting for you to to pull up. Um, any last bits of uh, conversation you would like to have with Fizzlepot before you arrive back home? Fizzlepot, I hate you. I don't like you either. Stop calling Kovacs monster, it's not nice. I didn't call him! Uh, to be fair, I don't know you personally, you could be a monster, but I know for sure your friend is an evil demon spot. I don't know what you're talking about. No offense, but you are. She's sweet. She did that 
shadow thing to his leg. Did you see it? It was crazy. I, I saw it. it was crazy, yeah, right? I'm not crazy. crazy. It was crazy. It was quite no, traumatic, fault. yes. Quite. Got one last question for you. All right. I put the bloody blade against his face. Now again, 30% more terrified. You've got him at 60% fear. Balls in your court. <laughs> <laughs> there was a shipment of circus performers that came with your smuggling operation. It, yes, from your boss. Yeah. Where are they now? Wait, roll, roll deception. <laughs> Um, 14. 14? It, where are they? Well, I mean, they're still with your Emporium. They haven't arrived on island yet. You were supposed to drop off your circus stuff. And you were there was a miscommunication. Uh, uh, logistically. All right. all right, what's the actual communication? I don't know where the operations are at. I don't know where the shipments are. They haven't arrived yet. All right, roll deception one more time. Um, ten. Ten? And he looks at you and he's like, Wait a minute. You don't actually work for Winker Bean, do you? I, d I attempt to deceive him one more time. Shh. Don't let them hear. What? <laughs> they're, they're like right <laughs> next to you. Don't let us hear. He just turns to, turns to your friends like, <laughs> uh, Okay. Does everyone else work for Winker Bean? Of course. Deception. Sixteen. Uh, all right, okay, so you, what, did, did you all know that your friend is a spy? What the hell did I just say? Oh, so you were, you're right here. I you're right here. Spy? How could you? I put out my How blade. There? Stand back, all of you. A spy for what? <sighs> all of you. All of you it's roll- It's fine, we'll talk about this later. And no, every single one of you, just because this has happened, roll performance. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Five. Five. Twelve. <gasps> Thirteen. Eleven. So all of you are like, Oh no! It's A five. spy! Oh no. Not I thought we, we had something. <laughs> 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 Nobody touch me. I'm here for information, that's it. Okay, I, I totally don't buy this. I, I'm pretty sure none of you work for Winker Bean. Okay, yeah. I'm, going, I'm going straight intimidation. Okay. Put, the, put the blade up against his neck. Uh, uh, oh, 90% fear. Oh. Where are the performers? <laughs> All right, roll, roll uh, intimidation with advantage, because he's up to 90% fear. <laughs> almost at maximum fear. <laughs> uh, 16. 16, okay. Your employer should be in All Haven by the end of the month. They won't come through Fairheim. No, why would they come through Fairheim? That rat infested. Seems <laughs> that he's pulling up to Fairheim. It's like, oh, lovely place. It's oh, home. the smell. It's great. I pull him real close. <sighs> Just so you know, fizzle ass. There's a fizzle pull. Keeping you alive is a fool. Oh, Shuffle yes, away. thank you, I love formalities. I, I would also like to, like, grab Fizzlepum and be like, <laughs> Also, while you're in bed, I'm... Be sure to stop by the pretty cook, they make a great stew. Uh, <laughs> I grab him <laughs> <laughs> I will make delicious tasting potion out of your blood. And Snack Snack comes up to his ear. <laughs> Snack Snack, she's just kidding. I don't know what she's going to make with the blood. <laughs> just hissing in his ears like, ah, oh, that sounds very intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> um, you arrive <laughs> finally back home to Fairheim. Um, Shady Jeff unhooks the wagon, uh, leads Wait, the- have, have Jeff and Walter heard this entire exchange? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're trying to be, you know, polite and not interrupt. <laughs> they were snickering up front like, I love our jobs. <laughs> I love them too, right? And they, you know. Um, <laughs> unhooks the wagon. Uh, uh, Walter comes up to the, to, to your guys, uh, uh, opens up the bag. He's like, excuse me, I'm just going to have to borrow him for just a few minutes. Thank you so much. He's like, kind of like, 
gets through you, takes fizzle pops. I can just thank you. Um, he he takes him by the rope the rope that's around his 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 arms and leads him straight to Katri. Um, and they're off in a little bit. You in distance, you can't really see what they're talking about. Um, Shady Jeff comes back after having uh, uh, put the horses away, looks at you guys uh, and say, Well, what say I help you all uh, unload this gold and stuff that you've hauled from Allhaven and we get a drink? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What's she gonna do with him? Oh, I don't know. I'm on a need-to-know basis. That's need-to-know for me, brother. Well, you can ask her. And he... I'm off towards that. All right. Uh, he he heads off into the pretty cook. What, what would the rest of you like to do? I want to go with Warblin. You can go with Warblin? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the rest of you? I grab on to Pluck. I want to see what everyone found in the house, because I have no idea. Okay. Um. Well, in that case, uh, you have to go with Shady Jeff. He's got a ton of stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm holding Pluck. Let's go have fun. Bird boy is acceptable name. I was gonna go get some some more stew. Well, you don't need stew. Well, uh, it's in the same place. That's where we're going. Oh, I yell off to Jeff. Save me some loot, lad. Right. <clears throat> I'll try. I'll try to try. And he just fades off. He's like, I'll try to try. Um. So you guys, you guys are off to the pretty cook, and you two are following Katri, right? Okay. Um. Let's let's handle uh, these three first, and then I'll jump back to you two. All right. As you guys enter uh, the pretty cook, uh, you see that uh, uh, the pretty cook himself, uh, the Agrilon, has has cooked up a large meal in in preparation for your return. Um, this time, no snakes. Right. Mm -hmm. he's, he's trying to be sensitive. How courteous. <laughs> uh, in in fact. This time it's it's a it's a large, um, nearly head sized souffle. Um, you see tiny little beetle legs sticking out of it. Oh, it's, it's it's gonna be something else. Um, and as you approach the table, he says, "Ah, uh, welcome back. How did the raiding go?" I killed the man. Oh, nice, Thank nice. You. Anyone else kill anyone? I cried. Oh. I don't think so, sadly. It's you don't okay. think so. Or... How, how do you not know for sure? Well, you know, it was very chaotic. Oh, yeah. Fine. Lady gets her first skill many different ages. Don't let societal standards make you feel bad about yourself. You're right. I shouldn't uh -huh. judge. I should not judge. That's on me. Um, so, I see you've gotten some resources back with you. Uh, Shady Jeff. Uh, takes the, the huge uh, load of, of coins and gems and places it on the counter, opens it up. It's gorgeous. It's glimmering. It's your, you know, it's your, uh, uh, it's a ludicrous pile of treasure. Uh, it's up to like 2,000 something gold, right? Um, so uh, Shady Jeff leans on the counter, uh, looks at you all and is like, so what are your plans with this huge, ridiculous size of a pile of gold? I take a handful. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you you have a do. huge like thing of like treasure in your shirt. Is this yes. the is this like is this the gold that like I found? Uh, this is the gold. Or no, this, this is like not the gold, gold you found. This okay. is the gold that uh you guys found in his chest. Okay, cool. Gold in chest. Sure. How much did I grab? Uh, <laughs> you took a handful, so you took like sixty gold pieces and stuffed it right into your shirt. Okay. Um, what uh physically? What does two thousand gold equate like? How much the size of it? Yeah, it's it's cool. about um let's say it's about it covers this table's worth uh surface wise. So it's like Wow. Okay. A pretty sizable pile of gold. Okay. Um, I kinda wanna swim in it. <laughs> well, Scrooge me duck style. Um so it's just this like bag, I'm just like kinda keeping right. it on my side. Uh the pretty cook uh uh starts to um Stroke his tiny, tiny Agrilon goatee. It's very small compared to the size of everything else on his body. He's like, mm, you know, I've got a couple of ideas. Would you three be interested in some business propositions for your newfound wealth? Does it have to do with your lovely cooking? Actually, some of it does. Will you not use snake? 
Yes. Good. No. <laughs> what? The, the, the positive answer you're looking for. All right. All right. Yes. Good. Would you be interested in hearing some of my ideas? I don't know. This is like all the gold I have to my name. You keep gold. Pluck. Well, I'm well, not going to take shallow. all your gold. I'm just offering up some ideas for what you might do with it. Okay. Because as much as this amount of gold seems impressive, you blow through this in a couple of days in all haven. Right? Oh. Yeah. The economy's bollocks. So, let's talk ideas. And, oh, Hunter is gone. We're going to stay in this scene room until he comes back. <clears throat> How would you two like some different food to eat? Oh, I would love. Yeah. Oh, goodness. It'd be mm. nice, but I can deal. How much? All right. Well, for about uh, 150 of this nice gold, I can get some repairs done to the Ooh. pretty cook, get you some nice beds to sleep in, Ooh. some proper food to eat. Ooh. Am I selling you on this? Yeah, I'm sold. All right, but then we also want to cut. Oh yeah, you're going to get a Whoa. cut. Don't worry. Business right. pluck. And of course, with the with the money, I'll even clean up the toilets. Oh! oh! I'll give you one extra gold from me. Oh, I appreciate that. You're welcome. I'm All right, ready do you give him the 151? Okay. Yeah. All yes. Right. 151 gold. He's gonna fix up the pretty cook for you. Uh, but what 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 do we get <clears throat> on? on a Return on our investment. What are we what are we talking about as far as like percentages? What do you think? Oh, that wasn't the actual investment part. That was me asking if you wanted better food and lodgings. Alright. Alright. It's good to be. Now, a couple of you may have met Iron Hoof outside. He's looking for stuff to stock up his blacksmithy. With some gold from here, I can make him a proper blacksmith again. Yes. So, if you're looking to do some shopping outside of all Haven. We can get him fixed up. For 500 gold pieces, I'll make him the best damn blacksmith on this island. I'm thinking we Would need we be able to get free stuff from him at that point? Oh, I'm sure he would be very grateful. Okay. Can he make magic bracelet? The bracelets you need to cast magic? No. But Why not? He can make some pretty impressive stuff. Give you 510 gold if you make me magic bracelet. Sure, I'll get him to make you a magic bracelet. Why are you doing this shifty eye? You think I'm not keen? I'm very keen. It's not shifting eyes, that's just what my eyes look this like. Is you. <laughs> oh, maybe I trick nice little Anya into giving me money. Okay, then just give me the 500. I won't promise anything. Look, please. But you got money. I don't got the money. I have 75 money. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just to clarify, is this coming out? This isn't coming out of the gold I found. This is No, the, this is okay. from the big cash oh, that you just yes, found. Oh, yes, take away! Yeah, I'm just like, you can, you can throw your money out all you want. Fine, but then you cannot eat here anymore. Because it is going to be called, I give you 600 gold, and you call it, what's your name? Wait, you're giving me extra gold to rename my... Yes! No. <gasps> you got it. 700. Absolutely not. 750. Priceless! <laughs> it's not worth it. I will What's keep... my name? Pretty Cook. What's this building called currently? Anya's Pretty Cook Restaurant. He takes the 500 gold <laughs> away from you. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I can think of for now. Shady Jeff uh, um, sort of uh, inserts himself. Like, actually... I also had an idea. Uh, I know that you guys are about to set up your little circus operation, right? Now, I've been to a couple of circuses in my day, and it's going to require more manpower than just the five of you. How much manpower, Shitty Jeff? Mm, I can see what I can do. I do have a deep well of resources to draw from people-wise. Would you possibly be interested in having me find some talent? Where is circus? this well? Well. Shitty, <gasps> shitty Jeff, tell me where well is, and I will pull from it myself. I don't myself. think it's an actual well. It's a, it's a metaphorical people. well. Well, actually. It's dumb. Metaphor. What? Nothing. Right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shady Jeff actually offers his services as a talent scout, if you're interested in him finding some... How much? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think I can ply some, uh, ply some folks with, uh, 250 gold. It's not bad. More than one, I promise. More than one. I'm starting to think you shouldn't have control. This is the only money. gold I'll have. I'm enriching. You keep some gold. 
then we use the rest to enrich our lives and this adventure we are on. What is just eating bugs? What if we just... The kids don't know how what don't we know? Start? They're there. <laughs> Listen, I went into bathroom and fainted. Oh, we're getting I that. I rolled it in. That was pretty funny. Okay, we're getting that? Yeah, we're getting that. What aren't we getting? I don't know the circus talent. We could do our own version I of promise the my guys are real good. And they they're get very loyal. Own investment. What she do they do? She knows a pretty cool trick. You should see it. <laughs> oh, that's What's your trick? I, I can juggle. <laughs> Great! Then I won't have to find a juggler. Yeah. Oh, you know, they do this and that. Little thieving, little assassination, little knife throwing, little burglaring. Uh, little tightrope walking. We can do all that. Okay. Not me. Just throwing it out there. We will fix the restaurant and make good food and fix the blacksmith. Darn it! <laughs> Great! <laughs> um, can we get a hundred gold worth of talent? Uh, <laughs> roll, uh, roll persuasion. Eight. Sure. Yeah. Just for you. Oh, okay. Can I? Can we I, also have. Can I roll of insight on that? <laughs> roll insight. <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a man of his word. Shady Jeff is completely trustworthy. Guys, oh. it'd be a good compromise. Listen, I'm thinking we have cult of children who will do whatever I saying. Most things. Who will do most things I am saying? Otherwise, we don't know what this shitty Jeff is up to. <laughs> <laughs> shady Jeff doesn't seem shady. He seems real shitty. I'm really trustworthy. Can I roll insight on Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he can't help what his mama names him. <laughs> I trust him. We would so. <laughs> I roll insight too. 14. 14? Plus. Mm. Oh, mine is <laughs> 13. Completely trustworthy. Oh my oh. god, so trustworthy. All right, that's your best friend. This guy. So, Only 100. What do you say? 100, 100 gold? Okay. 250? No, 100. 100. All right. Takes the 100 gold, pockets it. It's like, you're going to like your decision. Oh. Okay. Snakes out of the bar. Um, uh, the children, uh, the children are gathered around you. They're looking up at the giant pile of cash like, Ooh. Children, you stake with Anya Colt. Maybe one day you will see one-fourth of a gold coin. Oh, oh, wait. To share if you, have, you. if you have all this gold, will you fix our house? No. Oh. But, Snick Snick has been working on little trick for you. Snack Snack, it's your time. What, uh, what, what am, I, am I supposed to do? Do the trick we've been working on. Unhinges its jaw. <laughs> <laughs> tries to gum around a child's head. God. It's Nick hat. Surprise! <laughs> do I do I hear this? I'm I'm like there with this conversation, yeah. right? Yeah. I want to go to the kid who just asked about fixing the house, and he's like, "What's wrong with your house?" Oh, points. Um, there, oh. there, it's, it's, it, it was, a it was the original orphanage building. Mm -hmm. It has since been burned down and turned to somewhat of a rubble pile. Um, it's like that. Katri's always been saying if we ever get the funds, we get her house back. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Has she told you what it would take to fix it? Oh yeah. You think to get everything up and running again? Hmm. hundred gold. <sighs> I'll, uh. I'll take 100 gold for mine. I'll take 200 gold and just be like, you give this to K3 and you get this fixed on. Yay! But you go now and don't screw this up. I go told ahead. him to do that. <laughs> All right, so the kids... You're uh, going straight to K3 with that, right? Yeah, we're going to straight to... K to K3? Yes! Can we'll I, get there. Can I roll inside? Can I go <laughs> Nine. Yeah, sure. Can I roll into <laughs> Go ahead. Good. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen? Mm -hmm. They they do aim to get there. 
eventually. <laughs> they're they're little kids, so who knows what they might uh, do on the way over. But yes, they they do earnestly promise to get to Catering with 100 gold pieces. <clears throat> Wait, 200, who? I thought. Oh, was it two hundred? No. It was yeah. It was all right. Two hundred gold oh, pieces. Oh, I thought you were saying one. No, no, no. Two hundred gold pieces. Okay. Um, uh, they're kids, so who knows what kind of misadventures they might have in in between here and there. But yes, they promised to get it there. Cool. All right, all right. Uh, so you guys have divvied out the loot, and you have sort of like uh, figured out what you might want to invest in town. Uh, whatever left is your guys to keep. Um, I don't know if anyone's been keeping track. Two fifty each. Two fifty each so far. Okay. So mm-hmm. you guys have two fifty gold each. Um, all right, so we're gonna come away from y'all for a second. Uh, uh, you, you, you see that, uh, are you guys straight up, like, walking along with her, or are you sort of trailing behind to see what she does? I say we trail behind. Question, yeah, I'm into that. All right, both (laughs) of you roll stealth. This never goes wrong. Nine? Eighteen. All right. Um... (laughs) You are wearing some heavier armor, so it, it, it's a little louder uh, for you. Uh, you just <coughs> vanish off into the trees, so and you're completely hidden from view. Um, okay. Do I know if they're alerted to his presence? Uh, you will soon, because in a second, <laughs> <laughs> K3 stops. Um, Shady Jeff has has gone back to town. She's just she has him with the rope. Uh, she pauses. She looks behind you, and she's like. Ah, uh, Kovacs. Actually, just the person I wanted to see. Why yes. won't you join me? For a second, nobody. If I must. I'd like to pick your brain about some wisdom. As I'd like I... to pick your brain about your intentions with this place. What? My intentions? To raise some children so they're safe in this world of hazards and evil. Those I, intentions. I don't trust anyone with faith in an unseen power. Oh, yes, the faith I have, like the one you have. She looks at your um, symbol that you carry with you. I believe we have the same faith in the same power. In fact, that's what I'd like to talk to you about, if you don't mind. You have my attention. Right? This way. Um, uh, she uh, is leading Thizzlepod, who's like grumbling to himself near her. Um, and as you're walking through these woods, you're, you're keeping pace behind them. You can hear what's happening. Um, she, she asks you, Tell me, Kolvax, have you ever heard the tale of the eagle and the fox? I can't say I have. Right. Let me go ahead and summarize it for you. There once was an eagle and a fox. They were both very good friends. They decided to live next to each other, build their nest and burrow, right? under each other, the eagle on top of the tree, the fox under the tree trunk. Both of these good friends have some children, the eagle with some eaglets, and the foxes with some tiny fox babies. One day, the fox was out, and the eagle, desperate to feed its young, decided to borrow one of the children from the fox down below. And of course, that day, his children feasted, and when the fox came back, it was devastated. But not because so much of the stolen child, but because it could not have its revenge. So, it waited, and one day, the eagle stole a piece of cooked meat from an altar that some humans were sacrificing on, and brought it back to her nest along with a fiery ember from the altar. And as a breeze picked up, her nest went up in flames, cooking her eaglets alive. And they fell from the nest down to the fox. And staring the eagle right in the eyes, the fox ate her children. Tell me, Kovacs, what is your definition of justice? How can you relate a complicated situation? No, 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 no. I just want to know your definition of justice. Justice is when those that do wrong are served what is coming to them. As you're explaining, uh, you see that you're making your way out of the woods and you've come to a cliffside. Uh, Continue. It 
doesn't matter if you claim to be some devout follower of good. It doesn't matter if you're a, a lowly peasant, if you're branded as a criminal by your society. It is in your actions. That is justice. Hmm. That's very interesting. You know what I think, boy? She stops at the edge of the cliff. You look down and you see there's a massive sand pit beneath you. Uh, she produces a stake, a wooden stake, and she hammers it into the ground next to the cliff. And she continues to speak to you. I think justice is about balance. Without balance, there's chaos. And that's not the kind of world I want my children to live in. Oh, excuse me. She takes Fizzlepot and just shoves him off the cliff, <gasps> keeping one end of the rope in her hand and tying it to the stake. You hear him screaming for about two stories before falling with a, th uh, a soft thud in the sand. And you see that the sand is no ordinary sand. It is, in fact, a very aggressive pile of quicksand. And screeching Fizzlepot very quickly begins to sink. Um, he's, he's grabbing onto the rope, but he's not quite strong enough to pull himself out of it. All right? <clears throat> Katri looks at you, right in the eyes, and she says, Now, Kovacs, I'm going to tell you a series of facts about Lord Fizzlepop, and then you decide what to do after with those facts. <laughs> Lord Fizzlepop has ruined the lives of countless innocents with his drug smuggling ring. Whenever he's close to getting caught, he just throws an innocent civilian under the wagon. <clears throat> the civilian goes to jail. The civilian gets hung. The civilian gets drawn in quarter. But Fizzlepaw stays in his mansion comfortable. This comes as no surprise to me. Yes, I realize that. Now, you have the opportunity to take vengeance and justice for those who have died unneededly. Will you do it? Or will you leave him? Will you leave him to die in this pit? Or do you save a struggling man who's on the verge of death who, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Lord Fizzlepot, you're, you're down to change your ways and become good from now on, correct? Yes! Oh! Jack up! Gods, yes! Please just save my life! I don't do anything! That's what he said. Yes, of course he is. Yes. So, tell you what, Boyo. You take a moment to think about what you want to do, and I'll see you in the morning. And with that, she just sort of starts to walk back to town. And you're there left with this man on a rope. Um, it's It's connected to this wooden stake in the ground, it's it's not going to last forever. Um, and uh, what would you like to do? I'd like to walk out of the clearing and just sort of sidle up next to him. Yeah, you see, you've seen all of this. Woof. Oi. Anyone, please! This is so not how I want to die! Kovacs. If we leave him alive. He knows our faces, he knows our names, and he knows that we're after my daughter and that shipment of prisoners for the circus. I won't say anything! He I've is a liar. I've I'm seen men like him. Men that were no better than him, who claimed to be nobles, lords, knights, fighting for the side of justice. I relinquish my title if that helps! And they were no better. I see no reason to let this worm live. I don't know about you, but I came out here and followed Katri to kill this fucking bastard. Would you like to do the honors? How about together? <laughs> <laughs> uh, both of you. It's a very, it's, it's a bonding moment. Um, <laughs> you both each draw a dagger from your belt. Um, and you, you, you look down at, at Lord Fizzlepot, who's, who's desperately trying to grip to life. Is there any last words you'd like to give him? <laughs> no? All right. 
So, so prove me wrong, Fizzlepot. <laughs> Enjoy the afterlife, if there is one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both of you slash the rope at the same time, and with a, a, a struggled a screech, quickly uh, uh, muffled by sand, you see his hand uh, sink under the quicksand. Dead. <laughs> Kovacs. Let's keep this one between me, me and you, lad. Right? I'm, I'm silent. All right. <clears throat> and with that, the both of you start to make your way back to Fairheim, and that is where we will end. Woof. Uh. <laughs> ah! I love our little bromance we got. I know. <laughs> Over the past your episodes. evil bromance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Whoa. Justice, though. <laughs> yeah, real justice. Street justice. justice. Oh. Wow. All right, so um, uh, thank you guys once more for tuning in to Dark and Dicey. Our next show is actually going to be at the Stream of Many Eyes, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna skip next Monday because that weekend will be the Stream of Many Eyes, and uh, the following Monday I think we we won't have a show either. We'll continue yeah. off yeah, the next so week I after that. Yeah, so I have the dates that. here. Our yes. stream at yeah. the Stream of Many Eyes is going to be I think it's June second. It's the Saturday in the evening. Uh, and then, so like he said, next week, the 28th, there won't be a show. And then the following week, June 4th, there won't be a show. So the next one is June 2nd, and then we'll resume back like a week and a half later. Do you know what time? Uh, 5.30? I could be wrong. But Keep an eye on the Twitter. Right, Yay. right, absolutely. There's gonna be shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. You said the word. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, with that, oh no, wait, wait, something's happening. Uh, <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, I feel like there's something emerging from my body that I have to read. <laughs> this isn't me this time, I swear. <laughs> I. I'm an agent of Elmister. Oh. In the Forgotten Realms. Continue to watch the streams for more clues. And remember, leave no stone unturned. Nope. You okay, man? Whoa. Oh my god, what happened? You alright? Whoa! No. Oh, I just, you just pulled a trick up, right? I just, I just blacked out for a second. What, what, what just happened, you guys? Doesn't feel good, does it? No! Wow! Yeah. I don't know. I, just, I get what you go through now. That's crazy. You feel a little well rested, though. Yeah, right? a little bit, a bit. So I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna try to sip some disappointment water and be okay. You didn't kill anybody. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. everything's all right. It's getting too meta. Oh well, that was weird, guys. Yeah, I guess we should just yeah. close out the show. Thank weird. you, guys. We Thank know. you guys for joining us. See you next time at Stream of Many Eyes. <laughs> and follow uh, Dark and Dicey on Twitter. That's right. Check out. We have a subreddit now because the fans are awesome. It's That's right. Sub really? Slash, yes. Yeah, yeah. Subreddit and, Dicey, and a Discord. Discord. Yeah. Hashtag Shenana Gang. You can find the Discord link on the Reddit. It's like on the <laughs> sidebar on the right. Just search Dark and Dicey Reddit or Dark and Dicey Discord. You'll see it. I'm on there. She's on there. I guess uh, uh, leave no stone unturned then. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. <laughs> can we leave no stone is. unturned? <laughs> Put them all over. <laughs> and also there's been a ton of awesome fan art. So if you're posting fan art, we love it. We see all of it. Tag it with Dark and Dicey fan art. Yeah, and, please. And uh, our accounts. Oh, yeah, we want to see, see them in my inbox. Awesome. Yeah. And that's it. All right. Cool. See you guys at the stream of many eyes. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See ya.